So hey guys, and welcome to my world. So, I saw this film last night at a midnight showing. You might have heard of it. It's part of this franchise, this, this little franchise you may, may know. Star Wars? Do you know That's Star right Wars? guys, Star Wars The Force Awakens. Oh my god, I... It feels so good to say that I have finally seen Star Wars The Force Awakens in cinema. Oh, and just, just to say I saw a Star Wars film in cinema again is just... Oh, it's great. It's, oh, it's so good. <laughs> yeah, midnight showing. So, of course, I was in the cinema and for a midnight showing it was packed out. So, I was, I was in the cinema with the hardcore die-hard fans, the sweaties, the sweatiest of sweaties, I mean, you going from fanboys to die-hard Star Wars fans, I was in there with all of them, should have heard some of them, uh, I, I was in there with all of them guys, and it was such an experience, it, it, it was something alright, it really was, <laughs> oh... Star Wars The Force Awakens centres around two new characters. You've got Finn, who's a stormtrooper fleeing the First Order, um, and Rey, who's a scavenger on the planet Jakku. Both of these unlikely heroes end up crossing paths, um, and they, they fall into a mission uh, to protect BB-8, you know, the little football droid, yeah, BB-8. On its mission to get to the rebellion. I'm trying not to spoil too much here, guys. Trying, I, I don't want to give away too much, so bear with me. <laughs> this <laughs> film is basically cat and mouse between the First Order and the rebellion, our heroes. And oh, it was so fun to watch. It was really enjoyable. It really was. I was sat there and I kept. Oh, I, I got myself the comfy seats at the back of the cinema. I got. Got the nice level ones, and I sat there all cosy up, like with my girl, and then, and I was forward, I was back, I was forward, I was back, I was, I was constantly. So guys, moving. this film was very fast paced. I mean, it was going from scene to scene so quickly. It was like, like that. It it was so fast paced, and for me, that was quite a fifty fifty. Like, thing. don't get me wrong, it made sure I was never bored watching this film. I I was like. A clockwork orange watching this film I was I was so entertained my eyes were open like this it really was but it, it didn't really flesh out characters or questions I had it didn't really answer it as much as I'd liked which was a bit of a negative but I'm not gonna sit there I mean it had to tell the audience what had happened but also progress with the storyline so it's not something worth nitpicking, but again, something when I was watching it, something just it didn't feel. And for right. me personally, I think that is because of the thirty-year gap. I mean, it felt like I saying that more, and this the, film is a great blend of old and new. It really let's talk is. new characters. So one of my favourites was Finn. This character is so so cool and. Well Finn is played by John Boyega and he is portrayed so well. I mean, from the very get-go, you understand and you can feel and you just know the emotions that he's giving off and you can just feel them. Even though he's in a suit of armour because he's a stormtrooper, you just you just feel that emotion and the touch that that touch of the the bloody handprint on his helmet, that was a lovely touch, Abrams. Nice. Guy Another cool that. character was Poe Dameron. Ah, oh, and Poe just bled. Awesome. He really did. So Poe Dameron oh. is the best fighter pilot in the galaxy, and when he is on screen, I was just like, "Oh my dog!" I really was. Uh, he was such a cool character. Couldn't help but get pumped when he was on screen. He wasn't cocky, but he was confident. And you knew it, and it was so, so cool. He was such a cool character. Another new character was the droid BB-8. You know, the little football And one. I'm sorry to say this, R2, but... 
Oh, move over. There's a new droid on the block. This this droid was so lovable. It really was. This this, this droid has stole my heart. This this droid was. Oh. <laughs> I I, I love BB-8. I really do. I need to get the pop of BB-8 or something or the remote control. I'm just gonna sit there and play with the remote control if I can get it. Now for the old. So we do get Harrison fall back as Han Solo, and that's right, he's alongside Chewbacca, Chewie. Oh, no, that was terrible. <laughs> but yeah, oh, just to see these characters back, it made the new experience. Like I said, this film is a, it's bringing a lot new to a lot of new stuff to the table. But to just have them in it, it just it made Star Wars feel like home. It really did. Just like their line, Chewie, we're home. Yes, it was like that, sitting there, and when they were on screen, you just couldn't help but be like, that is Han Solo. And to have him back, it's just so cool. Uh, Chewbacca was great as well. They've got this nice little banter, and there's this con uh, constant joke between them about a weapon, which every time, it just, it was, it landed so well. It was funny. I like So guys, that. let's get to what you all want to hear. And that is the newest face of Star Wars, Kylo Ren. Let's talk about now, firstly, him. I want to get this problem I have out the way, and that is to do with the trailers of this film. Now, being in the film yesterday and watching it, and looking back at the trailers now, they really did portray him in a completely different light, like... No, I, I can completely understand why people now, like, saw him as Vader 2.0, but he's really not, he is not at all what I thought he would be. Um, the trailers really portrayed him in a different light to he than he is in the film. I they mean, really I was did. sat there, like I said, I was with all the sweaties, and I heard quite a few people getting annoyed with Kylo Ren, but for me, I absolutely loved his character and him in the film. So yeah, he wasn't Darth Vader 2.0. He was this this villain that was so human. He he felt so I human. Mean, sitting like, there, I understood his motivations he had, and sometimes he even became sort of relatable. And for a villain, that's such a great great thing to yeah, have. Yeah, Kylo Ren was this human character instead of just this powerful evil foe. Absolutely loved that. But I'll talk more about that in a spoiler uh, video about Kylo Ren or something. Also, yeah. talking of trailers portraying a certain character, Captain Phasma. Wow, she was underutilised. What happened? Like, wow, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is it this trilogy's Boba Fett? <laughs> I don't know. But going back to what I said about the blend of the old and the new, it was such an enjoyable thing. I mean, every time, and I mean every time, every time an old character from the old films was on the screen, it was either me or my girlfriend grabbing at the hand or the arm and just squeezing, going, and everything. Every time, it was like, oh, that's, that's, and that's that, and... Oh, it was so enjoyable. It really was. It was just to have the old characters back. It felt so refreshing amongst um, all the new stuff. And it was just a nice breath of fresh air every time they were This film screen. also used a lot of old plot devices from films you've seen. The old trilogy. The original trilogy. It really did use a lot of old plot devices. But hey, if it ain't broke... This film was so great to look at as well. It was beautiful. The wide shots were spectacular. I mean, they really were. The wide shots were some of the best shots in this film. They were beautiful. The, f the fight sequences with the X-Wings as well, they were one of my favourite parts of this film. They were just... Oh. They were so, so great. Like, they really were. They And saying oh. that, that the film was beautiful to look at, the practical effects in this were great. They, they, they look so, so 
so good. They really do. And saying that, that leads me to a problem I had because there's a few CGI scenes in this, a couple of CG characters, and some of the CGI moments, they just, they just felt really noticeable and just so out of place amongst all the practical effects but again for a, for a Star Wars film I'm nitpicking again and I don't really want Overall, to Overall this film was a great addition to the Star Wars saga it was a good film it wasn't as great as I'd liked it to be maybe that was my expectations going in I don't or know. it could have been that cramming 30 years of Star Wars lore into a film just again was glossed over i don't know at times it didn't feel like a star wars film but that's that's all the new stuff coming in so i've got to so, get used yeah to that. i can appreciate the hard jobs abrams uh, abrams has had cram like getting 30 years of star wars lore and trying to blend old and new and make it feel new and take it and progress the star wars franchise can really appreciate that and you've done a great job so yeah guys that. star wars the force awakens i've finally seen it have you seen it oh let me know in the comments what you thought of this film uh try not to put any spoilers in the comments i don't like things being spoiled for me so don't spoil it for anyone that hasn't seen it and is here to watch this review please because I really, I really don't like that. I hate spoilers. Like, <laughs> with a passion, I really <laughs> Yeah, Star Wars The Force Awakens is a great addition to the saga. And I had such fun with this film. And I cannot wait for episode 8. I mean, I'm gonna... Oh, I am gonna hate waiting for this film. Like, seriously. I've gotta wait. I've gotta wait to have some questions answered see the next star oh, the next episode i mean we've got rogue one next year but i i'm not hyped for it like i was for this but yeah god oh, we can make it through together guys we can make it through together okay we can do this so yeah highly recommend seeing star wars the force awakens on the big screen uh yeah go out see it really I saw it at the Empire, got myself collectible popcorn tin, they've got four different ones, one's got BB-8 on it, one's got all of them on it I think, um, they also come with collectible cup, uh, there was one looking exactly like this but I didn't get it, I wanted the pop party one, you know what I'm saying, looks cool, love this, Kylo Ren, it's gonna sit up up there with my other tins I'm just I might come and look at him from now on again just 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 sit there and look at him you're badass you're a good villain I might just do that and as always guys thanks for watching and may the force be with you see ya <laughs>